everyone this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings just here to pop down our card for the day from the black and white Faulkner deck so we're just gonna have a little shuffle and see what we get okay So we've had a little shuffle and our card of the day is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is, it's quite a difficult energy actually, it's quite a sort of tough energy and it can talk about us feeling like we are a bit under pressure, a bit like we have to defend ourselves, a bit like we've just got too much on our plate, that we're never going to get it done. Um, it's just kind of one of those headachey cards really where we're in that energy of really just being up against it really it's the only way to describe it is it's a difficult kind of feel like I want to push forward but I can't and I'm just stuck and I just feel like there's so much and it's so much on my plate when I'm in this card that you know it's giving me a headache basically however the seven of wands is not a card that suggests that you can't do it it you can do it it's just going to take you a bit longer than you thought it was going to take you um you're going to have to kind of really get focused and it's almost like when you have too much on your plate that it becomes overwhelming so you end up doing nothing okay so best thing to do when we're in that particular place is to just keep it simple break it down what do you actually really need to do immediately so it's about prioritizing getting your priorities straight um the when i was when i used to work in the corporate world when i was kind of just breaking into really that kind of world when i was um much much younger um, there was a whole big trendy thing about time management. You know, everybody everybody had to go on a time management course. Um, I kind of have mixed feelings about how that, whether that was useful or whether that wasn't useful. Um, I don't know, but it, it was a thing, you know. But it's really important to be able to kind of manage your own energy rather rather than time we get really focused in on time it's all about time it's all about time spirit have no concept of that so you know in the spirit world there's time for everything there's plenty of time and as soon as you start to say to yourself i've got plenty of time i have loads of time to get this done and and i i've got all the resources i need to get this done as soon as you start thinking about it in that way rather than oh my god it's all a rush everything becomes much easier because you're not putting yourself under absolutely tons of pressure to get it done the seven of wands says light at the end of the tunnel you know there you can get this done you absolutely can so it's about managing your energy to make that possible so it's it's all about that really the seven of wands also can be talking about defensiveness and um it's really interesting because when i pulled out my card for the day yesterday that i put up as, as just a card on my facebook page rather than a video it was the seven of wands again so it's that defensive energy that is around um you know you may feel like you need to protect yourself you might need to feel that you need to protect what is your own um i've had the four of pentacles come up quite a bit lately where that can come up when we're needing to kind of look after what we've got and, and kind of not go too mad just kind of protect where we are rather than pushing too far ahead so the seven of wands can be a bit defensive you know it can be a bit like when you're at work and you feel like you are being picked on a bit or you're under the cosh and everyone wants, wants to know how long it's going to take and where you what you where you're at with that and then you might feel like you have to say well i'm doing my best blah 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 so it can be that defensive energy you know feeling like you have to fight all the time all i would say is that yeah of course sometimes we do we have to defend our corner we have to fight our corner um but taking that defensive position all the time is quite negative for us so you know quite a lot of what that is about often is um not really caring that much about what other people think um 
because if you're constantly defending yourself but people say this 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 to me um you can either choose to go no blah 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 and defend it or you can just choose to not really care what they think anyway um and i completely get that sometimes when your work environment or something like that you kind of have to be in a position where you're prepared to listen to a certain extent to what your superiors are saying um but yeah listen and maybe think about it but you don't have to take it on board as a personal criticism so you don't feel like you have to defend your energy or defend yourself okay so you might feel that way today you might feel a bit defensive you might feel a bit like Ugh. um so I, I would just guide you to kind of get through that as best you can don't take on too much of other people's nonsense and just kind of know that actually you will get there. You will achieve what you want to achieve. Break it down. Keep it simple. Do it step by step would be my guidance with things like that. So I'm just going to pop down a card from this lovely mystical shaman deck. Um, and while I'm shuffling it, I will just say a little bit about the new moon that we have today so today going into what's well, started today um the energy of it will continue for the rest of the day and into tomorrow so it's a really really positive energy a new moon the new moons are always about you know new beginnings what you want to create for yourself what you want to manifest cosmic ordering sending out your wishes um so you know um have a look at that that sort of thing maybe you write a wishing letter maybe you write a little note to yourself i've got um a moon diary which has a little section in it for um writing down once a month your intentions or your um what you would like to manifest for yourself so it's a good day to be doing that um it's in taurus this new moon um so you might find that you are um kind of really focusing on things like stability things like nourishing yourself things like um you know being stable being secure all of those kind of energies come in when you're looking at um taurus energies so let's just have a little look and see what we've got with this mystical shaman deck today and see what we've got Okay, so we've got the witness we've had this before okay so the witness is about for what i can remember observing okay observing from a position where you don't necessarily have to take any action just kind of keeping yourself um open and being able to see clearly um not pressurizing yourself to needing to do anything about stuff and just being able to look at it and just be able to observe it so what i will do is have a quick um quick look into the book here that we've got with these lovely cards because they're quite deep these these cards and um i definitely know we've had this one before and i can definitely remember that it was about kind of being able to look at things without taking action um but in terms of the cards today the energy of the card today I kind of feel really drawn to the eyes of this lady that we have here. Um, so I do feel like it is about seeing, it is about being able to see very clearly. Um, you know, being circumspect, to being able to look around you, being able to see what there is. Because um, I'm also really drawn to the white light that's come in, that's burst in here. So this is... Um, white light to me is about spirit it's about the spiritual side of things it's about being able to see um maybe what spirit might like you to see rather than getting all bogged down in the actual realities of what's going on on a day-to-day -day basis um maybe being able to look at the bigger picture and being able to see clearly beyond this so that you have more hope um so the the card is the witness and the invitation that comes with this card is the witness that has been by your side all along is now ready to become your ally um you thought you were the doer but today you discover that things happen when you get out of the way so witness creation witness the creation unfolding before you 
change reality by finding stillness and letting your true intent reveal itself. So again, it's kind of about not having to do loads and loads of stuff, not having to, you know, getting bogged down in this. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. Now I can't. Oh my God, I'm knackered. You know, all of that energy. Put that aside and just sit quietly and be peaceful. It's interesting. I was watching, um, I was watching a video um, of a guy that I follow that does lots of different Disney videos and stuff, but he also does some mental health stuff and he was talking about CBT and he was talking about being able to just be in that energy with your thoughts and just allowing them to pop up and not getting attached to them so they he would just like popping up and and just notice them in and acknowledging them and just, and just kind of letting them basically I think what he said is let them trot on and not get all bogged down you know this is my moment to just be um so he was really actually very very good at explaining that and if I can find it, I'll put a link to it in my YouTube um, video. So you could have a look at that as well if you would like to. But it, it's talking about, you know, that ability to just be in our energy, not have to do anything, not have to push too hard and to just allow stuff to happen. Allow what the universe is creating for us to come in. And that's what this whole new moon energy is about as well. Being in an energy where you can allow stuff to come to you ask for what you want and then be in the energy to receive it because quite often what we do is we ask for what we want then we get right in the way of ourselves and we don't allow stuff to come to us because we don't believe it you know we send out that wish that says i really want to be secure and i want to be safe and i want to have all that good things and then we tell ourselves that we don't deserve them on the, in the other breath so then we straight away block it it's a really really inset interesting concept but in terms of a card for the day i feel like i'm looking at don't get too bogged down in defending, in pushing too hard. Just to allow yourself to see the world for what it is. It's, you know, I don't know where you are in the country or if you're even in the UK. It's a really beautiful day where I am. Lovely, beautiful, sunny skies and not too hot either. So it's just a beautiful day. Um, sometimes it's just nice to look out of the window and see that beautiful day and just, you know, wait, smell the coffee if you like. Just, you know, be in that energy, allow things to be around you. Um, so that's where I feel like I am today. Really hope that's helped some of you um, to have a little look at where you are. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow to do another card for the day. So I'll see you then. Bye for now.